G'day grass cutters, Rory here from Greens Lawn and Garden. I decided to start this YouTube page uh, to help out uh, with any information, tips, tricks, you know, day in the life of kind of stuff for a Jim's Mowing franchisee. I am a Jim's Mowing franchisee. I've been a Jim's Mowing franchisee for the last two and a half years. And uh, I thought I'm seeing a lot of content coming at the moment, out at the moment from Jim's group themselves, uh, Jim's head office. And I thought there's not a lot of stuff for uh, actual franchisees from franchisees. So I thought I'd, uh, I'd get on here and, and, and film some stuff and, and see how we go. It's a bit bumpy this, uh, this camera. It's got like a cheap mount here that mounts up on my, on my phone and it's, uh, it's not great. So bear with the vibration and um, I'll, try and, uh, I'll try and get it sorted out for the next one. Uh, if you've got any ideas, if you've got any equipment ideas, let me know uh, so, I can, uh, so I can try and improve the, the visual experience. So... I mean, in the two and a half years that I've been a Jim's Mowing franchisee, uh, I've, uh, I've been really happy. Um, so if you're looking at buying into a Jim's Mowing, if you're looking at buying a franchise, um, actually whether it's um, mowing or not uh, from Jim's group, uh, one of the first things you want to do is to choose your franchise or uh, before you decide, look, this is exactly where I want, where I want my territory to be. Uh, this is where I want to work. Have, have a bit of a look around the area, the, the broader area, and choose a franchisee that you're a franchisor that you're gonna you're gonna vibe with and that you're gonna you're gonna want to talk to, and that you're gonna want to uh, converse with for for a long term, you know? because. Uh, in the end, that's your point of contact. That's your first point of contact. Uh, if you've got your problems, uh, you need some help with something, um, you're uh, probably the best person to use as a mentor for yourself. Uh, if you don't know any other franchisees in the area or you're just starting off. So choose your franchise or And uh, before, you, before you go and jump into anything, sign on the dotted line or anything like that, make sure you get out and you, you do some days in the field uh, with someone like myself or some of the other guys around the area so that you know what you're getting yourself into. Because I'll tell you what, uh, in two and a half years I've seen a handful of franchisees pack up and hit the road because, well, they all, they all have different excuses but in the end it's because they can't hack it. buying a franchise but it's still your business you know you're still you're still running your business just because you got Jim's big mug on the side of your trailer and on your uniforms uh, people seem to think that they still have this employee mentality and uh, that's not going to work if you've got an employee mentality um, you're not going to get real far we as franchisees do everything the same as uh, as independent lawn contractors do uh, as far as the day-to-day -day business um, generating leads in our generating leads in our uh, territory um, we do the, the exact same thing uh, to the disagreement of a few independents but um, it's just they haven't experienced and I guess they haven't experienced what it's like to be a Jim's franchisee. So, a lot of guys can't hack it. They have this employee mentality, and and they wind up leaving uh, leaving the group and uh, trying to go independent because they think that's the problem. Uh, then they find once they're independent, they've got uh, the support of their friends and family, and that's it. They don't have the franchise model to, uh, to fall back on when you do need advice, you do need some guidance. And uh, then they wind up failing at that as well. And 
get a job back at where they were or get a job from someone that they know or, and this is all too common so really do your due diligence get out in the field not a day don't do a day or two days it's pointless it's it's absolutely pointless because you're not getting a true feel of what you're doing you want to get a week under your belt where you know what it's like to finish a week off and uh see how your body responds and then uh, you know then half that uh, your fatigue whatever fatigue you're feeling uh, you can half that because once you get used to it your muscle memory kicks in and you, uh, you, you know you, uh, you get used to the day-to-day -day rigors of, uh, of the popcorn care and uh, gardening then you'll uh, you get used to it pretty quick and then go from there and then just decide uh, right for you uh, if you've got a shadow of a doubt don't do it because it's if you think oh, I'm not sure don't take the leap it's absolutely imperative that you love what you're doing to and have an entrepreneurial uh, mindset to run your own business doesn't matter what field it's in it doesn't matter if it's a franchise model or it's not. To be successful, you've got to enjoy what you do, and you've got to. Uh, I'll tell you what. For this, uh, for this uh, type of uh, type of work, you've got to have a have a physical uh, physical mindset. You've got to well, you've got to like getting your sweat on and uh, and busting your hump uh, some weeks, some days. To get by. So make sure you do that. Do your due diligence. Work out if it's right for you. And then have a look at available territories. After that, I think that's the next step. Look at where you want to uh, where you want to purchase. Like an area that's that's um, that's going to have uh, a nice density to it for uh, uh, households. So a good number of uh, potential clients in your area. Something with a bit of affluence always helps. Otherwise, you, you sort of wind up doing you know, a lot of jobs that, uh, that aren't that great, um, or very few and far between. And then, uh, you know, get a get a handful of uh, territories, and any franchise or that you talk, talk to that's worth the salt will um, will give you a list of available areas and uh, help to point you. Right direction and because what's profitable for them is profitable what's well, sorry what's profitable for you is profitable for them uh, so make sure you uh, make sure you do that once you've chosen your territory um, that you want to you know you want to purchase from you choose whether you want to get yourself uh, an existing business um, uh, so or um, vacant territory itself and uh, then you go from there then you you know you really start thinking about signing up the dotted line and, uh, getting training underway and all the rest of it now training training's a beaut uh, it's so uh, it's a week in Melbourne down at the uh, um, Jim's compound Jim's little um Compound down there where the cold all congregate, oh, where the franchisees all um, congregate, <laughs> and uh, it's basically a little uh, like a, a little three-star resort kind of thing. You know, you've got you've got your training hall that you go into, and you spend most of your time at throughout the days. Uh, you've got uh, accommodation, which is basically just a, uh, a, little, a little hotel room for yourself, and uh, then there's a uh, a buffet um, a restaurant where you, you go and have your your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. At. So the training will consist of now. I I can't remember if exactly if it's three days. I think it was three days um, where you're all together, or is it two days? Two or three days where you're all together. So you've got Jim's dog wash, Jim's uh, fire and safety. You know. All the different, uh, all the different uh, branches from uh, from the gym's franchise group all together doing the generic training, and 
and then you actually split off and you spend uh, the next few days with just your mowing guys and you start uh, really really focusing in on uh, on, uh, on different different things for the mowing business itself so you have a bloke come in and explain our small engine mechanics to you it will actually give you a demonstration on how to replace pull cords how to change the oil everything all the basic basic maintenance um, on, a, on, a, uh, on a mower uh, you get some demos from uh, from uh, suppliers it's Husqvarna, Walker mowers, um, the trailer manufacturers, uh, they, they, uh, they all have a demo out in the car park and uh, you can see here, you can see different machinery and different bits of equipment uh, that you might use and uh, you can actually have a go on it so you can you know, get a feel for it. Uh, you'll have a horticulturalist come in, uh, Rod, really top bloke, really knowledgeable. Uh, learn about the basics about plant species and weed identification um, and, uh, and have a little wander around Jim's, Jim's personal backyard and um, check out some of the different, uh, different native plants and trees around there. Uh, you'll do specialised uh, quote training with Mike. Uh, Mike is a uh, top bloke. He's uh, one of the trainers there at the, uh, and he's probably the, he's the main speaker. He's the main trainer throughout the uh, throughout the week. You spend most of your time listening to Mike um, tell you stories um, about his um, 20 plus years with the gyms group, and a lot of guest speakers come in to to, to do different uh, different things throughout the week. You know, and talk about bookkeeping and accounting, uh, customer service. Jim will pop in two or three times and. And uh, give you a rundown on uh, uh, on you know where where he started, how he where he came from, and uh, give you some good business advice while you're there. So all in all, uh, it's a great week. Uh, the training I've done I've done a fair bit of training uh, through my career before I was a, uh, a lawn uh, a lawn and garden contractor. And I'd say this is the best training that I'd received, uh, hands down. It's not even close. Uh, you do pay for it, um, but you pay a you pay a package which you know, includes your accommodation, and transfer from the airport out to um, out to the the cult centre, and. Um, and uh, you know, it's all part of the it's, it's all part of the price. If you if you work out a price of what you're paying for the business for the franchise, uh, you should get a total inclusive of all that, um, which includes also your starter pack, so you know your uniforms and your witches hats and PPE and all sorts of stuff. So uh, go through the training, and then once you've done that. Uh, you come back and you uh, pretty much hit the ground running if you've got everything that you need if you're already equipped and um, you've purchased a, a trailer or um, uh, and or your mowing gear then um, you, you're ready to go all right so you're a brand new franchisee you've got you should have um, all your uh, your leads turned on so you'll have an online portal uh, where you can go on there and you can choose whatever services you want to provide what days of the week you want to provide them what areas you want leads to come from how many leads per day you can handle there's a great deal involved uh, in all that but um, I'll cover that in a later video for right now all I'm doing is just giving you a rundown on uh, from start to finish from purchase to, to up and running so when you start, uh, if you've got the attitude of, oh, I don't only want to do this, and I only want to do that, and oh, I don't want to travel too far, and, uh, and, and you're really picky, you're going to find it pretty hard uh, when first starting off. My recommendation is turn your leads on flat out. Um, obviously, if you're not comfortable doing gutter cleaning, if you're not you know, comfortable climbing a ladder or you're not um, you're not uh, 
very skilled at, at, at pruning and hedging and stuff like that and you just want to focus on uh, the basic stuff for the time being say mowing and you know regular mowing once off mowing so turn those leaves on turn your all areas on and go flat out uh, take everything you can that's the way you're going to learn. You, 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 you'll do some really... I swear on YouTube. You'll do some really... You, you'll do some uh, not so good jobs in the first few months. But I can almost guarantee you with the way that the lead allocation uh, algorithms work, um, you will receive plenty of leads if you're willing to do the work. And uh, you should uh, you should be cracking within the first three months. Within the first three months, I had uh, around twenty or thirty clients, um, and I was uh, I was earning around uh, two and a half grand to three grand uh, gross uh, a week. Uh, I was busting my ass and um, and you know taking everything I could to get that but that's what you got to do so that's the best way to establish your uh, your, your business uh, is to, to go all out balls to the wall for the first while and um, and like I said take everything that you're comfortable in your scope of, you know your, your scope of skills take everything you can work as hard as you can uh, and, uh, and you'll be right. You'll, you'll do really well and you'll get a nice clients in the first few months. And uh, respect. don't be afraid of starting the business uh, in the winter months. I started mine on the 1st of May 2018. That was day one for me. And uh, day one, I my very first job was a massive like four hours I only had a push mower because um, that's all I could afford at the time I had a 21 inch Honda push mower second hand uh, and by a whipper stepper and my blower and a shitty old trailer that I bought second hand as well uh, and uh, so day one We'll end with a funny story. So day one, I hit the road. Um, I drive an hour out to uh, to my first job, and I've uh, I didn't realise it was going to be an all day event. Uh, I thought it was just because this lady put a request through for just a mow, just a mow once. So I got to this place, and it was knee high. It was about an acre and it was knee high grass buffalo grass and there were palm fronds all fallen down with the grass grown on, on top of them and you, you couldn't even see them so I had to go through first and try and pick up as many palm fronds as I could and um, and then just start push mowing this uh, and um, I quoted the ladies Few hundred bucks, I think it was about three, three hundred bucks, three hundred odd bucks um, to do this. Uh, I, oh man, I filled my trailer with palm fronds um, and and lawn clippings. Like I, I emptied that bag 20, 30 times. I don't know. Uh, it, it was ridiculous. It was so much. Anyway, so I finished doing it. Um, I, uh, I jump in the car, I'm driving home, I'm stoked. My first job, I was like, yes, um, awesome, day one. Um, pull out of their street, I just get off the phone to me missus, I say, oh babe, I uh, uh, can't wait to be home, uh, it's, um, it's been a day, hang up, the whole wheel assembly falls off my trailer the whole wheel assembly hub uh, one of the, uh, the, the 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 bloody hub wasn't wasn't uh, bolted on properly and uh, 
I just go and the wheel overtakes me and um, the I, I jump on I, I, I was absolutely packing myself I thought oh that's it I'm done I'm gonna have to go back and work for someone else this is day one and I've got to replace a whole axle on my trailer um, who knows what this, this is gonna cost um, so anyway I, I get a tow truck um, old mate does me a cashy solid and um, gets me to the trailer repair place I called the trailer repair place they said yeah bring it in no worries he gets me there just before close of business um, I uh, the trailer guys um, say look mate it's no dramas we'll have it done by the end of business tomorrow so I had to take the next day off but went down in the afternoon picked it up uh, it was done and the bill was the exact same amount that I just charged the um, the girls to to do this big mo job <laughs> so the first day's profit for the business went straight to replacing the whole axle and hub assembly on this uh, second-hand trailer that I picked up from some dodgy in uh, in Brisbane so that was day one anyway uh, I'll uh, put up a new, uh, another video in the coming days uh, around um, around some other some other um, areas of uh, of having a gym's mowing franchise probably uh, focus a little bit more on uh, on the software and uh, leads and leads allocations and things like that uh, just to give you a bit of info peace out